road word real talk review why, yeah. why, why not? Because your heart is open to accept individuals and their differences for days. Give me a topic, I promise you. Why, I why, say, why I not? I, like I said, I don't plan on questioning anybody because it's not for me to question. I can pretty much read what you Yes, y'all. So I'm here with the road why, word. Why, why not? The road word today. Why, why, why not? Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Why, Why, Why Not. It's your girl, Wilandria, and I want to thank all of you for coming in today. Before we get started, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so you got notifications every time that I post. Please also share, share, share with everyone so my channel can grow and go to Tyra's Big World of Flavor. Do the same for her. And happy, happy, happy day. Yeah, how are y'all doing this morning or this day? Because I don't know what time you're watching it. So hopefully you had a great day. You're you're you had a great day, or you're having a great day. But yeah, it's your brave lady. I'm wearing my braids, getting ready to try something new. I went to Burger King to try the new French toast breakfast. How many of you tried it? It looks delicious. What? Let me go ahead and see my grace. Lord, we want to thank you for this food that we're about to receive. Help it to nourish our bodies. In these words, we ask in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, y'all. Look at this. It looks delicious and it's fresh off the grill. Y'all see that? That looks delicious. And I got a strawberry jelly, but I'm going to taste it first because I may or may not need to add it in there. But y'all, today, what we haven't done in a minute, we're going to discuss, discuss some road word real talk reviews. I just had something on my mind today, so I said I'd come and talk to y'all and get y'all opinion on it. Now, what a thing it is, it's greasy, I tell you that. Um, I'll give y'all first bite. First bite. Now this side, they look. This side a little bit darker than that side. That's what they got on the bottom. But y'all go ahead and take a bite. Take a bite. Take a bite. Okay. All right, y'all. Let me take me a bite first. See what it tastes like. Mmm. It's the greasy. It is and it's not I was thinking it was going to be something like Burger McDonald's McGriddle I taste a little sweetness but not a lot whereas McGriddle you really don't have to put anything on it because it's actually just like pancake to me that's my opinion y'all in my opinion not nobody else's just mine but y'all, I wanted to come and talk to y'all today because I was watching um, Black Ink, Black Ink Crew New York, okay? I don't know how many of y'all watched that, but it has something going on on there now where, of course, they're speaking uh, on what's going on in the world, um, how how um you know they're dealing with how it's difficult dealing with what's going on in the world you know black men getting shot um number 19 so that's basically what they're talking about and dealing with it and how it's mentally dealing with some people and one of the characters on there Walt, he actually has been stealing from the company. And that's money as well as um, items from the company. 
Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And Caesar and Teddy, they want to cut them loose completely because of this. And Puma, which I can I can agree with Puma. Sometimes you don't know what people are going through and why they're doing what they're doing. They could be, even though they're not asking for help the right way, that's a form of asking for help when you're doing stuff that's out of the norm. But Caesar and Teddy took it all the way back when they was kids and throwing coins in the wishing well and Walt went and stole all the coins. So obviously, from that, I guess he had issues. Don't know. But my question to y'all is, if you've been friends with someone for 20 years, and you found out that this friend has been betraying you in a manner of stealing from your business, that all of you built together, you gainfully employed, and they steal from you. Would you cut them all the way loose? But if I know Caesar, how I know Caesar, Caesar probably, you know, how he's done with some of the other ones, like, what is his name? I can't say his name. His name is O.S. I don't know his government. But he helped him out by sending him to rehab and things like that. So, I know C's has tried to help some of his friends. But I just wonder, what would you do in a situation like that? Would you truly come off? I actually think I would have been more like Puma and try and help him out. Find out what's going on. Which he did go and talk to him. And he was saying how the pandemic had his friends messed up because, you know, he hadn't been working, got child support, almost about to go to jail. He said he reached out and Puma said, you know, you never asked me for help. I know he borrowed money from Donna. He's married. I don't think his wife know anything's going on. So, what would you do in a situation like that? See, my heart, my heart goes out. These people be so close over here. My heart goes out to people like that because actually, to me, my opinion, I think they are dealing with something. I really think they are dealing with something. And these cars, the more space they need, the, the closer they cutting it. That's stupid. You know parts, so if you got meters over here, they got parts, y'all, I'm sorry. That's crazy. Non-driving people. Y'all, this is actually pretty good. That strawberry jelly kicked it off too. So what would y'all do? I think I ain't finished saying what I was saying. They made me mad. Oh, they need a muffler. Yeah, that wasn't even a car that's supposed to sound like that. But anyhow, me being who I am, I really try and help them. I would. Find out what's going on. And then, if I see then I, that I can't, then I may cut them loose. But, I feel when things happen, people do things that are out of the norm. That's a cry, to, cry for help, in my opinion. That's what I think. I think that's a cry for help. And they don't know how to verbally say help. 
It's just like a child in school. They act out for attention. But it's my opinion, y'all. What would y'all do? Please comment down below and tell me what y'all would do. Yeah, it's not going to be long today. That was just on my mind. And I was wondering, what would y'all do if your friend stole from you? If y'all been friends for 20 years, but you cut them loose. That's a sad, sad, sad story. No, yeah, I'm sorry. I thought I had my sandwich in view the whole time. I was just wondering. So that's been on my heart like, it had, like I'm there. And I know this probably was shot last year. I know it probably was. So you know you eat your heart and your lipstick get on the bottom of your lip. That will happen you got full lip. my palette but y'all thank y'all so much hopefully y'all will respond to me and like this video subscribe to my channel um hit that bell so you got a notification every time that i post please also share 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 with everyone so my channel can grow go over to tyra's big world of flavor do the same for her and why 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 not Give someone a chance and see what they're going through. It could be very serious. The road word today. Why, why, why not?